Well, here's my setup. Let me back out so you can see it. This is my spare bedroom where I was setting everything up. Uh, the table came out good. I I used two by fours for a runner, and then I made this one leg here. And that outlet I've got to replace because it's worn out. I got to do that before I set everything up because I. It's a lot of power gets drawn by all this crap. So I kind of, I moved everything over here and I used the room up pretty quick. So there's, uh, that's my CNC mill, oscilloscope, that screen I'm going to build this computer for. I need, it just needs new power supply, so... Once I get that, I'm going to have that under the table, and that's going to run the CNC machine, and I can design circuit boards and stuff from it. There's my oscilloscope, all my crap, all my hot air solder, regular solder, another regular solder. This is that uh, ceramic tile I bought. This stuff was like a buck a buck fifty a piece and I got two of them that way I don't burn nothing this is the printer that I hacked I hacked up and made it to where it will print straight onto copper for making the circuit boards so this prints straight to copper I had to 3d print these runners and I had to make a microcontroller to trick the the sensors inside and I got a uh, more storage of junk I put my 3d printer up here just so it's out of the way because usually you know once you get it running it just does its thing you ain't got to really mess with it so i figured I'd throw it up there out of the way um, this is all my crap every resistor capacitor transistor known to man I have so uh, there's all my blank circuit boards and then uh, this is the UV light here for making solder mask and CNC stuff and and all that but it's about set up I just gotta change that uh, outlet the outlet behind here probably needs change too I gotta check it out then I'm gonna run uh, two power strips I think I'm gonna mount these power strips on the wall mount them like that cuz it everything's got a plug in and it's going to have to have one on that side and then one on this side for everything over here I got an outlet behind this printer set up and then the one over there that I definitely got to change then I'll have everything running and then uh, I'll have this a computer connected to the internet so anything I can you know, I can sit in my regular spot and design the circuit board and then come in here and just pull it up and do what I got to do. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be going to making my uh, color touchscreen vape boxes. I'm going to start selling those. And then I still got the project to work on. Uh, um metal detectors that I designed I got really far on that and just got kind of got tired of messing with it and went back to the vape box thing because my vape box broke so yeah I need a, a power supply for this computer and it'll be up and going so here's my new little shop I guess you'd call it if it focus there it goes Lots of crap, though. I still got way more I need to move in here, but I'm trying to do it in a way that's that's organized and I don't have to do it twice, you know, because 
I'm probably going to have to, I got so much stuff, I'm going to have to take over all these drawers. And it's getting pretty cluttered. I'm probably going to throw a bunch of stuff behind the that printer. So, yeah. I built this. Both of these, I just went and got some boards from uh, Lowell's or Home Depot or whatever. And I rip, I cut it and cut it to length and built the shelf and built the table yesterday. Started moving everything over here. So, here's my new shop. Better than being cluttered in my room and on the kitchen table and in the living room. I had everything scattered everywhere, so this will help out.